Hi everyone, I'm Marie from Southern Country Living and today I'm making a Mexican meatloaf and it's a real easy recipe which you all know I like this kind <laughs> and it just has four ingredients which will be two eggs, a cup of red crumbs and this is going to be a cup of um, pecani sauce but I'm reserving one third to go on top and I'll be putting in two uh, pounds of ground chuck. And so uh, this meatloaf will cook about an hour and a half at 350. And um, I've made this meatloaf before and I also have another one that I make. It's called Exceptionally Meatloaf. And we'll leave a link uh, in the description below uh, if y'all wanna check that one out also. And um, I, I like to cook, so I do a lot of different meatloaves and different things. I don't always have the same recipe all the time. I like to like change it up some. I hope everyone had a good Easter weekend. And today in Georgia, it's about 44 right now. But it's going up to 77 today. So I want to get my meatloaf cooked early so it doesn't get my house hot. <laughs> So, um, let me get started on this recipe. The first thing I'm going to do is get my uh, ground chuck out of the package. Okay, I'm going to um, break up my hamburger meat. I have a hamburger chopper, but sometimes that thing gets in the grooves and I just like this, using this one. <laughs> put in my two beaten eggs. And my pecani salts. And my breadcrumbs. Let's do this all in real good. I may go in with my hands, but I wanted to wait till I found my left before I did that. <laughs> comments below and I'll tell me what you serve with your meatloaf when you have it. I'd like to know. <laughs> okay. Alright, I've got that all mixed up now. Let me get some of my stuff out of the way. meatloaf has a tendency to not want to come out of the pan good and stick and so this is just my little way of assuring that that don't happen. <laughs> so I guess we all have different tricks that we use in the kitchen but this is mine where I put aluminum foil and parchment paper down. Now I'm just going to fold this into a loaf. I 
think that looks pretty good. Okay, so now I'm going to put my Pecani salts over the top. And this is about one third. I'm going to go wash my hands, and I'll, when I come back, I'll show you what my meatloaf looks like. Alright, um, this is what my meatloaf looks like, and so I'm going to stick it in the oven at 350 for one hour and a half, and then I'll be back. Okay, I'm back in my um, meatloaf cooked about an hour and 15 minutes, so I'm going to do the taste test now. Mmm. That is really delicious. Okay, we're going to be having this uh, meal tonight with uh, uh, macaroni and cheese. And also, that's the Pioneer Woman's recipe that uh, I made a video on today also. And we're going to be having creamed potatoes. And uh, if y'all try this Mexican meatloaf, it's only four ingredients. It's real um, easy to make and it tastes really good. I also have a, another video called Exceptional Meatloaf and we'll leave that in the link below. And uh, y'all may also enjoy that recipe also. So do what you love and love what you do. And y'all have a great day. It's beautiful here. Can't wait to get out later today <laughs> and maybe even walk a little bit. But Anyway, I'll uh, see you in the next video. Bye. You say take me on a treasure hunt. I long for something new. Have you heard the fairies when they sing and dance? Oh, I wish it was me.